Russia is preparing children from occupied territories to fight against Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. Cookies, device identifiers, or other information can be stored or accessed on your device for the purposes presented to you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Market research can be used to learn more about the audiences who visit sites, apps, and view ads. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Different devices can be determined as belonging to you or your household in support of one or more of purposes. Your device might be distinguished from other devices based on information it automatically sends, such as IP address or browser type. This post received a score of 6,200, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'm sure this is true, but fuck me I don't want it to be. Wasn't this the same last-ditch effort in World War II when the Nazis used the Hitler Youth in battle toward the end of the war? Except they're not even doing it with their own children. They're stealing Ukrainian children and doing it to them. This has been the Russian method for the entire war. The Kremlin has been trying to shield the effects of the war from the average Russian citizen and so they prefer if their ranks can primarily be made up of soldiers that either joined willingly or alternatively are the, expendables, basically conscripts from occupied areas, prisoners and impoverished minorities from far-flung regions. As Russia's equipment and munitions shortages grow more severe they are forced to increasingly rely on manpower to compensate for more limited firepower. It is also about as evil of a way to conduct genocide there is, and that is saying something, but sending waves of children from occupied territories to have their countrymen have to fight them. Just the worst. And this is why Russia must be stopped. There is nothing, unique, about Ukraine that will satisfy Russia's imperial ambitions. Rather if Ukraine surrenders millions of their people to Russian control in exchange for, peace, those same people will just become cannon fodder for Russia's next imperial war. The world should have stood up to Russia in 2008 and 2014 but we can't change that now. What we can do now is make sure that the Russian expansion into Ukraine stops and give Russia serious reasons to think twice before launching another imperial war against other countries. Appeasement is the worst strategy. It'll be a tough one for Obama to answer overall. The strongest military in the world and now Ukrainians losing their limbs to mines. It makes me sick. American credibility WRT foreign intervention was at an all-time low after the Bush neocons completely flushed it down the toilet with their bullshit Iraq invasion, and both Germany and France were heavily in favor of appeasing Putin, and they had a lot more credibility than America did when they were clearly proven right about pushing back against invading Iraq. Now they all have egg on their faces for sure, but we should remember the context of Obama's decision making before we pass too harsh a judgment on him in particular. I mean, I get what you're saying, but dude wasn't even trying to pressure Europe against Russia. About the only guy in Washington who seemed to have a solid read on Russia was Romney. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention. 